Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, art, graphic design. I always say this. Follow me on Instagram, check out how you can donate below. Let's go. Okay, so I am excited. We're on to episode four of the series, the design making a skincare brand series. I took a few more photos um, for this episode. Today we're making posters and a web page. As I know, in the last episode, I did make a few posters and use like the Polaroids and stuff, which I still like, but I'm gonna create a little bit more. I just have so many ideas and I wanna just do a lot and make some of the photos for this web page I'm gonna do. This video is sponsored by Place It. So Place It by Envato Elements is a place where you can get DIY online ready to use templates and mockups. So you can find mockups for literally so many different things like t-shirts, business cards, kind of like all over the spectrum. Place it does a few other things too, like a logo generator and video maker for like social media videos, Instagram stories, things like that. But I personally love mockups, you guys know, so I always am on the hunt for new places where you guys can find them. And Place It is the place to go for them. There are so many different mockups. I've been looking all over there and it's so easy to just like drag in your files and it'll put it on the mockup. There's even ones with like people if you want it to be a bit more personalized. So here I am putting together one of my own designs into one of the mockups just to show you how easy and fun it is to create something that looks so professional and put together. So I have brought in my logo from this project and once you've just brought it in and it goes into the mock-up perfectly, you can download the photo. It's very easy to use and I love finding new places to get mock-ups so I thought I would share it with you. So if you click the link in my description, you can get 15% off of a monthly or yearly subscription. I hope you guys utilize the mock-ups on Placeit and let's get back to the video. Thank you for sponsoring! Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Here are some of the photos that I have taken for this. I have this little uh, knee photo and I have this little back photo. I took these in the bath, um, so it was a little scandalous. But I just wanted to do something like a little bit more like skin-like for the skincare brand. I have some of the Polaroids that's still part of the brand. I have those posters I made. Now let's create something more to just really tie this whole brand together and make it what I really imagine it to be. So this photo I edited um, into this and a little overview of how I did that was basically on locking it going down into quick actions and removing the background and then from there I just like tweaked it and put in a different background until I got this so then I made it kind of like smoother looking I put a little graininess on it but I thought this would be good for like an ad campaign for like later when we put in the mock-ups and complete the brand so I'm doing that and then I've just edited these photos to kind of just be a different color um, I really like the vibe of them so let's just go with this okay so basically what we're creating our posters so I'm gonna do like maybe little sayings maybe the logo just different things that would be like an ad campaign to go out into the world for people to see in the streets you know things like that so I'm actually gonna make this an 18 by 24 poster just so we can get the right dimensions going and let's start with this photo so I really like it just as a one big photo and we can put something else on top so I did rearrange my little logo to look kind of weird and we're just gonna like see what we can do with this I'm really liking it um, I want to create one that is off-white so let's bring this in and see how it looks. Ooh, okay, so what if we did something like really big where it like cuts off? I might even do it sideways. Okay, I really like this. So let's just keep making things and discovering until we come up with a few great poster options. Okay, Photoshop just crashed, but we move on. So back to what I was doing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this one because it is a little like off but kind of cool like I like the very feminine vibe but then this like opposite type of typeface so I'm gonna do this feel good in your skin and then I'm gonna add the regular logo not this little like jumbled logo onto it oh but I don't want it in black actually I want this in white as well I'm gonna put it down here Okay, so let's make another poster and 
again that 18 by 24 size um, but this time with that me photo I think what I want to do is like kind of have this repeating and make it into a poster so as you can see I'm just dragging things around and repeating the image so I actually think that looks awesome and it just kind of like came together just with the sizing and figuring out what I liked I like the asymmetrical where it's not just like centered it's like the left side is encroaching on the right so I think with this one I don't really want to add much more I think that would be really strong as a poster just to kind of like peak interest okay so then let's work with this like one that I've cut out and put a background to I want to add something I did find something like an inspiration photo that just made me decide I wanted to do something like this so let's add the logo here I do like it, but I feel like maybe this typeface isn't right, so let me fix it and see what else I can do. So let's do one big poster, one last one, where we just capture like the vibe of the brand again, um, but just with type. So making a text box, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Helvetica. <laughs> Okay, I love how this looks. Um, I justified it to the left fully. Um, I'm gonna bring in the logo for the bottom of this and then I think our posters will be complete. Okay, I can't wait to put these in mock-ups in the next video, which I know I said would be in this video, but I kind of got confused with what I was gonna do. So um, let's get on to the web page, which we're definitely gonna use this photo in we're gonna use this on the home page of the website I think maybe some other images I think some of them would work really well so let's get going okay so getting into a little bit of web design guys I'm using Adobe XD for this and I'm still kind of new at it so I'm still figuring out like how to exactly use it but basically what I have deduced from understanding what to do is you basically are making shapes to put in your content um, and I did end up turning on a grid in a minute, which helped a lot with the edges of like where to actually look at content on a web page, for example. So this isn't going to be a real working web page, but I wanted to use it as the kind of essence of it. So, you know, you could see it, you can scroll through it and just have that as part of the brand. So here I am deciding what to do with images and where to put them. I really liked that the Polaroids were cut out as like PNGs with the transparent background because it made it look really cool like they were on the page. And then I got into typography. So I was working again with Helvetica and then using kind of like the different typefaces to kind of break it up. Um, realizing here that it shouldn't be inside out differently it should be inside out differently <laughs> um yeah inside should definitely be the one that's highlighted um so it's just me like playing around with adobe xd and figuring out how it works so if you would like a more in-depth video on adobe xd or maybe just like web design we could do more of that so here I am bringing in the logo for the top bar and this is where I'm gonna put in like home about shop things like that a search bar and like a cart or a bag like where you would go and click on that so these are just like fake buttons you can make them into real buttons on this app but this is just to show like a home page that you would be able to scroll through and what the website would look like if it was real <laughs> 
so I put all those up there like the top bar and I put them as um, like stay there while scrolling basically like it's sticky so when you scroll through the page it's going to stay at the top which I think is really cool um, so here I am just adding in more of the elements and those grids really really helped because they helped me figure out how to align everything and this app really helps you tell like tell you that but uh, it definitely helped me with like by eye how you would actually look at a website um, so yeah the grid was great so here I am just adding a few more photos a lot of my you know package photos branding photos can campaign photos, they all worked out perfectly to create this web page. And here is the final result. Okay, everyone, so that was me creating posters, imagery, and a web page for the brand Amarus. Um, I'm really excited to show you the last episode where we get into putting them all into mock ups and then showing you all of the final brand assets. And I'm just, ugh, I'm so excited to put this all together. So look forward to the next and last episode. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps my channel and videos. Um, and yeah, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out my other design videos where you can design along with me and learn a bit more about graphic design or just talk about it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Oh my god, Photoshop just crashed on me. Okay. <laughs> Let's take it from here.